Good afternoon, everybody. It's Max Norbury here with the weekly report review for the week commencing the 15th of August, 2022. Hope you're all doing well there, team. This week, we've got a minefield of a fundamental adventure out there in the markets. Um, everything ranging from FOMC minutes right the way through to the ZEW economic sentiment and uh, RBNZ event for the interest rates and eh, so much more. It's just an absolute minefield out there. So this week, guys, we are uh, looking at a couple of things. For myself, we are looking at platinum this week, uh, one of the precious metals. Uh, platinum this week has been in a really, really nice bullish trend. And therefore, I am actually, uh, since we've actually recently hit the trend highs, I'm looking at a purely technical play here of the trend continuation. So I'm looking for that trend to trade lower down to the lower limit of the trend, then for the buybacks to start from that area on. So uh, by, you know, buybacks being the impulsive wave of the trend. So yeah, all of my, you know, all of my instructions and stuff are down there uh, for you guys when you are ready. Uh, looking at the S&P this week with Nick. Um, Nick's looking actually at the sort of party that he's called it here the the bullish rally that we've seen in the s p i think he's uh, leaning more on the side of that coming to a bit of an end um he is looking uh, relatively bearish on the s p he's outlined all of his uh sort of views of the market here in the s p um so you can find out all that information there regarding his view on the s p longer term um and to see that bearish sort of cycle to continue and finally guys we have shane's weekly preview in which he has covered basically everything there is to know regarding the markets and the key markets that are going to be affected by the day's primary economic data points. So if you want to know anything more about that, you can definitely check that out there. All right, so jam packed. Um, so guys, for those of you who are brand new to the market report and you are not sure about where to go to receive it, um, if you go to forexsignals.com, you scroll right down to the very bottom of the page, far left hand side you have the trading room subject header right at the bottom of the trading room subject header you have the forex forecast if you click on the forex forecast it will take you to the market report page by which means you can look at all the data and everything that we've got going on here all right guys so i hope you have an amazing week ahead like i said it is a bit of a minefield out there uh, regarding the economy and the economics there's a ton of stuff being released um, so it's not really about being uh, an economist or having a master's degree in economics, etc. It's just about being aware that the data is being released, by which case you can avoid taking trades at the wrong the wrong time, getting caught on the wrong side of a volatility strike from a news event and so on and so forth. It's about just being spatially aware within the markets that's really going to save you guys uh, from a bit of the chop that we're probably going to be expecting uh, throughout the week ahead. All right, so going to wrap things up there. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing uh, trading week. It's been a pleasure as always, guys. I look forward to catching you all in the trading room. Um, and yeah, leave it there. Take care, guys. See you then. Cheers.